It's an embarrassing turnaround for the Pentagon, whose final report on the Vincennes incident confirms that human error by crew members on board the American cruiser was responsible for the shooting down of the Iranian Airbus and the loss of 290 lives. In the heat of an ongoing battle with Iranian gunboats, the men manning the highly sophisticated battle radar system saw the approaching Airbus as another threat. At the time, this was the Pentagon's story. The aircraft headed directly for Vincennes on a constant bearing at high speed. Not so. In fact, almost all the information given at the time has now been proven wrong. The Vincennes computer tapes have revealed that the Airbus was climbing, not descending, and flying far slower than an attacking fighter. The Pentagon had insisted the Airbus was even sending out electronic signals identifying it as a military aircraft. That was another mistake by crewmen under the stress of battle. When Captain Will Rogers was given that false information, he had little alternative but to fire his missiles and protect his ship. I believe that given the operating environment, Captain Rogers acted reasonably and did what his nation expected of him in the defense of his ship and crew. And Admiral Crowe said today the Iranians must take some share of the blame. This regrettable accident, and it was an accident, was a byproduct of the Iran-Iraq war and saddened all Americans. Most of all, the crew of the Vincennes. But Iran wants more than that. Apology, formal apology and compensation for such uh, grave crime. The 53-page report may be a catalogue of errors by sailors on board the Vincennes, but the Defense Department has decided to take no disciplinary action against anyone involved. Instead, they'll introduce a psychological profile for people who are likely to find themselves in battle situations. The rules of engagement for U.S. warships in the Gulf won't be changed either, and it's hoped that with the ceasefire between Iran and Iraq due to come into force tomorrow, hostilities between Iran and U.S. warships will become a thing of the past. Ken Reese, News at 10, Washington.